In today's video we will talk about uh, basic binary operations. In the previous video we discussed the binary numbering system, uh, how to convert from decimal to binary and to reverse. And uh, today we'll see what exactly can be done with uh, binary numbers. Uh, so in decimal we are familiar with operations like uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication and so on. How about uh, binary numbers? The simplest uh, operation is called NOT or negation. And uh, if we take a binary digit, which can be uh, either 0 or 1, applying the negation will transform this into the other digit. So for example, a 0 becomes a 1, a 1 becomes a 0. Uh, this type of representation by table with possible values and uh, results is called a truth table and is usually used to represent binary operations. Uh, also by applying this uh, simple rule to larger number, uh, we can see uh, what happens. Uh, in this case we have four binary digits, so this is a nibble, 1010, and if we apply uh, the not operation to each individual digit, uh, we get, uh, and we usually start from the right, so 0 uh, becomes a 1, uh, 1 becomes a 0, 0 becomes a 1, 1 becomes a 0, so 1010 0, 1, 0 becomes 0101. 0, 1. In this case uh, we have 8 digits, uh, so a byte, and again, uh, if we apply to each individual digit, uh, we get this result. So you should check and make sure there is no mistake. The next operation is called uh, OR. So what this means is that if either uh, one digit or the other is one, then we have uh, the result one. Also, if both are one, uh, the result is still one. And we can see here, zero or zero is zero. Zero or one is one. One or zero is one. One or one is one. Uh, so we can uh, look again at two examples. Uh, so we work usually from the left. So we have 0 or 1, which is 1, 1 or 0 is 1, uh, 0 or 1 is 1, and 1 or 0 is 1. So in this case the result is 1, 1, 1, 1. Uh, and here uh, we get uh, this other result again. Uh, you should pause and try to compute this result by yourself and check if uh, I made a mistake here. The next operation is called AND and uh, the result is 1 only if uh, both inputs uh, A and B uh, are 1. So for example 0 and 0 is 0, 0 and 1 is 1, 1 and 0 is 0, 1 and 1 uh, is the only case where we have a 1. And uh, I've used here the same examples uh, from the previous uh, slide. And uh, again, uh, working from the right, uh, 0 and 1 is 0, 1 and 0 is 0, 0 and 1 is 0, 1 and 0 is 0. So, uh, in this case, the result is 0, 0, 0, 0. And uh, again, as an exercise, uh, you can try to check uh, the second example. The next function is called uh, XOR or exclusive OR. And uh, in this case, it's uh, similar to the OR function. 
uh, except it's uh, exclusive so one XOR one is zero if you remember the OR that we previously discussed so in the case of OR one OR one is one in the case of exclusive OR one uh, XOR one is zero so this is the only difference <coughs> and uh, now if we apply uh, XOR to the examples uh, we get these values. So in the first case, again, working from the right, uh, we have 0 XOR 1, which is 1, 1 XOR 0, again, 1, 0 XOR 1, 1, uh, 1 XOR 0 is 1. So uh, in this case, the result is 1, 1, 1, 1. And uh, in this particular case, uh, because we did not have uh, this last case, uh, the result is the same uh, as with the OR that you saw here. However, in the second case, uh, for OR, we got this result, and for XOR, we get this uh, different result. So again, I suggest you pause and try to work this uh, yourself and check my result. Now, the next uh, function is uh, addition. Usually, uh, uh, we see it uh, as add. So, uh, it's pretty much the same as in uh, decimal. Uh, and uh, like in decimal, if we have 9 plus 1, uh, this will become 10. And uh, actually, the result is 0. And we have an additional digit. Uh, carry digit uh, which is one so in binary it's pretty much the same so we have again the two values uh, the uh, addition result and a possible uh, carry so zero plus zero is zero zero plus one is one one plus zero is one in all three cases the carry is zero but one plus one is zero because uh, we don't have uh, the digit two in uh, binary so one plus one in this case is zero uh, however in this case we have a carry which is set to one and again we can apply uh, the same rules uh, as in decimal and uh, we start the addition uh, from the right hand side and we have zero plus one is 1, 1 plus 0, which is 1, uh, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 0, 1. So in this case, we had no carry. Uh, in the second case, uh, and I will uh, comment on it, we have 1 plus 0, 1, uh, 1 plus 1, so we have 0, we remember there is a carry here. 0 plus 0 is 0, but we also have the carry, so uh, the result is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Okay, so in this second case, we have the result 1, 1, 0, 1. And uh, the last operation that I'm uh, going to cover in this video is uh, subtraction. Uh, Again, uh, similar uh, to the decimal case, if um, we try to say uh, 0 minus 1, then uh, we have a borrow, and uh, the result uh, in decimal would be minus 1. But uh, in our case, we mark that we have a borrow. So 0 minus 0 is 0, no borrow. 0 minus 1 is uh, what I was telling you about. So the result is 1, but we have a borrow. We can, in this uh, simple case, we can see it as a sign, but it's actually a borrow. 1 minus 0 is 1 with no borrow. 1 minus 1 is 0 with no borrow. So uh, if we look at this example, Again, we work from the right, 
So we have uh, 0 minus 1. So the result is 1, but we have a borrow. Uh, 1 uh, minus uh, 0 would be normally 1, but uh, remember we have, the, we have borrowed from it, so it's actually 0. Uh, 0 minus 1, again, the result is 1 with borrow. 1 minus 0 would be 1, but we have a borrow, so uh, the result is 0. So uh, the final result is 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. And uh, I'm leaving you the second example uh, as an exercise to see if I've uh, done it correctly. So these are, uh, I would say, basic operations. Of course, we have uh, other operations and uh, I will make a uh, new movie uh, regarding uh, more complex operations. So if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and uh, see you next time. Bye.